okay uh, this is where we left off uh, last time uh, in the last program what we did was uh, we set uh, each of the bits of the 8 bits to 1 okay this time we're going to just do a bit of modification we're going to set each of those bits to 0 it's actually very easy we just have to once complement that number we were printing you know we're just going to do this and uh, we're going to have um, everywhere we had 1 to 0 this time okay so let's just execute it and see how it is as you see you're seeing negative integers right so this basically happens because you, you once complemented all the 32 bits so the most significant bit is one so it considers every one of those um, integers it's printing as uh, negative integer so let's uh, see the unsigned uh, equivalent of it okay when you see the unsigned equivalent of it you will understand it much better okay so you're going to see huge numbers because almost the most significant 24 bits are one okay and uh, even the rest of the remaining eight bits we're going to set each one of them zero but most of it is one okay, let me just show you to you through a scientific calculator what we are pretty much uh, doing okay uh, one all ones okay and um, only one zero at the end okay so that will be one two three four five six one more okay so this I'm going to convert it to decimal as you see uh, only one bit to zero the rest are all ones right so you see what it is right to what are four two nine four nine six seven two nine four that's the exact thing we're getting so that's what happens okay so with this uh, we're sort of done with this program we're going to look at more complicated programs uh, coming next as I promised we're going to look at a more complicated uh, program here so the program we question we're going to answer and the program we're going to look at here is uh, let's say you have a number c1 okay it's a 32-bit number and uh, I want n bits from position p for example 0x4321 that this is the binary representation of it let's say I want from position 3 this is position 3 this, because this is position 0 okay I want from position 3 4 bits okay this I want this okay or um, I want from position 11 that is this okay 4 bits this so I put p equal to 11 and n equal to 4 so this is the question we're going to answer and look so once I'm completed you will understand how simple the program how simple the solution is but uh, the kind of thinking that has to go in to produce that solution okay so I want you to go ahead and play with birds because these are going to be really very important in a lot of your programs uh, bit manipulation you really need to master I'm going to look at uh, one or two more programs about how uh, you could exactly do bit manipulation okay so okay let me say this now let me say I want this number this four digits okay so how do I achieve it um, first thing is how I'm going to achieve it is this first I want these four bits or these n bits at the right hand side so that means I'm going to right shift this to here okay so let me just write it again and you will understand what I'm saying the rest left side I'm going to fill it up with zero eight zeros so I'm going to fill this I have at the right hand side okay now all I have to do is with with and it with 
n ones at this position okay everything is zero and i'm going to end it with n ones see what i'm really doing is breaking the problem into two pieces one the first piece what we have to figure out is by how much we have to right shift c1 so that the n bits are at the rightmost side okay the second problem is what we need to do to get n one bit at the right hand side you know two distinct problems break uh, which have got broken down so let's just tackle the first problem okay so what we are going to do to c1 to get these n bits or four bits to the rightmost side okay from position p okay now 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 if i am going to right shift this right shift by p where will we be okay i'll show you where we will be we'll be here will be here so this will be the number you know with whatever trailing zeros at the left side and these many num digits would have fallen off all right but what we actually want is this right so how do you achieve that very simple we are going to right shift by p okay uh, we're going to right shift by p we're going to achieve this but if you're going to right shift by p plus 1 we're going to be here the number ends here and these four would have trailed off this n would have trailed off so what i'm saying is if we right shift by p plus if we right shift by p plus 1 we would have n trailing bits which would have fallen off how do we take it to the rightmost side we left shift by n so left shift by n is equivalent to right shifting by p plus 1 minus n see we have solved one part of the problem right yes we have solved one part of the problem now let's solve the next part of the problem how do we get this bit sequence very easy let me show you now let us get all ones now let us get all ones how do we get all ones you take a zero and ones complemented you get all ones right so you take a zero and ones complemented you get all ones okay now let's get uh zeros at these at the other rightmost n bits how do you do it you left shift by n n is the number of positions is here it's four it can be anything it can be one it can be two it can be three so here you get all zeros now do you notice uh, between these two binary representation this is nothing but the ones complement of each other so you ones complement this expression don't you see it's absolutely easy <laughs> right and you have to and these two so let me just put it put everything together you will you will be amazed at the simplicity so c1 i need to right shift by p plus 1 minus n okay and i need to and it with this okay and i think i have the this one i need to print it right i need to print it so let me print it Enter. Let me print it as an integer. Let me add a new line, and I think I'm done. Let me add one more braces and a semicolon, and let me comment out the rest. Okay. Uh, I think I'm done. So this is the expression we have. Okay. 
So what I'm doing, I'm taking C1, I'm going to right shifting it by P plus 1 minus N and I'm going to ending with this number. So how do I get this number? You know, first I get all ones, okay? And I get this number by right shifting it by N and then I once complement to get this number. Absolutely easy. You know, see the solution is just one line. So all your uh, uh, programs that has to do with your bitwise operations are going to be this simple but you need to you know think a lot to get this sort of an expression. I've just executed you can see the output as uh, 3 and uh, that's exactly what we wanted okay so from 11th position to 3 bits 4 bits okay so with this I'm done.